So this specific prompt using Nano Banana is actually going viral on YouTube and Instagram and I'm going to show you the exact prompt that you can use in order to generate this. So in order to use this, firstly you need to go to gemini.google.com and choose the image that you want to use. Let's say I want to use this image. This is a simple image of a car driving through, let's say, some sort of traffic. The next thing we want to do is paste this prompt. And this is a simple prompt. Using Nano Banana Model, create one seven commercial figurine of characters in the picture in a realistic real environment. The figurine is placed on a computer desk. The figurine has a round transparent acrylic base with no text on the base. The content of the computer screen is brushed and so on. So Bandai style toy pick packaging box and a bunch of these different things right and i'm going to go ahead and make sure that i use nano gemini as the option from these parameters and then let's go ahead and press enter i've blurred the number plate of this car using bgblur.com because i wanted to make sure that i don't expose sensitive information but this should now take the image and create a 3d figure in for you guys what i want to do on top of this is actually go to vo3 and see if i can animate this image So you can see the image is generated and it actually looks pretty good. Sort of a pickup truck image and this was the input image that I shared with the model and you were able to do this. You can do this with any sorts of images. So if you have your own pictures as well, you can actually upload those and make a 3D generation of that as well. So let me show that to you as well. So I just took a simple picture of my face right now and then I'm going to use the exact same prompt in here as well. And I'm going to upload the image or the generated image in here and I'm going to see if I can generate a video of uh, this as well. So apparently it seems that the image is not high quality enough. Let me try this again. You can see the image is generated. It's not looking the best image right now, but I would say it's not too bad either. So you can work with any sort of image using this and I am just going to experiment now if I just download this and upload it here, I'm going to crop this specific piece. You can see it's being uploaded right now. So this is my input frame. I, I think you also need to share the output frame, but in this case, I'm just going to see if I can go ahead and use just one frame here so it did start the generation i don't know how the final output is going to look like but let's just wait for a few more seconds to run it through the generation once and in this case i you know used a very simple prompt that it should rotate the figurine meaning i want like a 3d effect where the figurine seems to be rotating but let's see what the final output looks like so the image is generated and it looks exact how i expected it to be this is the video of figurine being rotated and like I said this is what you can do on top of the image generation so we've done it completely using Leo. So that's how you can go take an image static image and create like a rotating 3D action figurine using Gemini and VO3 both of these are Google tools and super excited to see how this actually looks. If you guys have questions let me know.